hilarious sometimes. Um, Pat Fitz was another man. Uh, no, don't even remember Pat Fitz. He, uh, he lived. He had a butcher shop on Chris Street. He wasn't noted for hygiene, let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he was uh, of his time, I suppose. And uh, I really enjoyed listening to Charlie Keaton's uh, piece there. And I was slagging him off there about. Um, I'm going to slag him publicly now because we only got to turn. I think I saw one movie before it was about 18, you know, because <laughs> no. everybody was on about Dr. Zhivago when it was the leading for them. It's really what they were on about, and everybody was about a great movie it was. <laughs> and John Wayne and all these people. And. Um, uh, so, you know, we were real cowboys, really, you know, because we, 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 we were real cowboys. You, 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 you were just kind of uh, uh, AI cowboys. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we knew about the real AI. It wasn't, it wasn't, much, it wasn't that shit, AI, you know. And then my father had a big six inch nail on the, on the back of the, uh, the door, and all the jackets were there, the way yellow jackets. And, they were all in order, and we knew exactly those jits, you know. Yeah. Anyway, um, I won't explain these things, because uh, everybody knows what an AI does. Yeah. Yeah. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. So, my father, you, you, you know, you, you, you couldn't have any fear growing up on a land with cattle and sheep. You know, we'd go to the march and he'd say, see that bullock in there, how many sheep has he? And there'd be about 20 bullocks and a pen, you know, big animals, and I'd grab one of them and say, he has two sheep. Oh, he's no good. I mean, see the fellow was a spot in the motel. Many sheep has he, you know. And we walked in New Wellingtons and there was no steel toe caps or anything like that, you know. And um, so it, it was, you kind of grew up in those kind of places and you'd be cutting the horns of a bullock and all that kind of carry on. Uh, all stuff now that you'd probably get locked up for, I suppose. And my, my neighbour Bertie Burke, um, one time he, he had a lot of tractors and there were a lot of muck and kind of dirt in the river, you know. And this is an old Cody kind of a thing, but anyway. Uh, I, I was getting lambasted every month anyway about how bad the mad river was and how dirty it was and of course the Shh, Don't tell Ali, go on. Don't tell Ali. <laughs> but anyway, uh, do, at, do at tell time, me. At the time uh, Bertie Brooks said to me, I'll look after that bloody river for you if you give me fifty quid. And he, and so he came into town with a with a small little tractor, a David Brown tractor. He took off the silencer raffle and he had to take off his own hat as well. To get on the bridge on uh, James and um, Distillery Road, and he drove. He drove. The, we let all the sluices out of the river. He drove down the middle of the, the river with a tractor and a yard scraper and cleaned everything out and killed birds. <coughs> and we'd have all got six months in Mount Joy if you did anything like that now. And uh, and it was a great job. It was pristine, you know. And uh, I know it's kind of apt and uh, opposite and all that to talk about these things, but that's the way we cure drinking sometimes. You are polluters. We were not <laughs> But anyway, we spent a lot of time in the summer saving hay. That was kind of a national pastime. And, um, you know, it was, it was something that, it was kind of a timeless kind of a period. Everybody was saving hay for months on end, you know. But there was no labor then. Nobody got paid 10 or an hour or minimum wage or anything like that. Uh, people just spent months doing that, you know. It was, you know, something you did. If you had nothing else to do, you know, you went off saving hay. So this thing is called brush strokes after Surrey. And Surrey is a... French Impressionist who painted his paintings by the use of pontillism, which is kind of an art way of painting your paintings using dots and spots. So there you are, probably did. And, uh, so that was Surrey anyway. So that's uh, my explanation to this kind of bucolic pastoral poem. There's a stray junkie on the bog road, sheep's wool blows from barbed wire, cows drunk with grass, joes in midsummer heat. Windows snarled through windows of a Morris miner while nettles investigate the engine. <clears throat> the Ferguson's parish tires leave dust clouds on the lane as cops of hay are swept in. The hired driver, an accepted hero, rewarded by the largest stake at lunchtime. The tractor engine is the focal point where bottles of Christmas stout are drunk. Ah, it's not the same as the counter, says Ward. The sheepdog tilts his head to a muffled sound, the first thrashing machine of the season. In the village they are dipping sheep with ritual oriental gaiety. They uncovered a gladiator at Pompeii. In Woodkey they found the Vikings. In Mayo they'll discover a bachelor saving hay. <laughs> <laughs>